What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Beastly Thoughts Show Live, episode 41. We are now approaching death, I think. Uh, 40. We hit 40 <laughs> last week. That was middle age. 41. We are officially at the down slope. We what do we make it? it? I think we we're going to die early. Like 70. We, we own a Mustang. <laughs> we're saving for a Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> We sold the SUV. <laughs> but that 401k is looking all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so everybody knows what I've been playing. What do you guys been playing? Because it's different. Because <laughs> it's, it's not going to be all about Destiny for the entire show this week. Yeah, it's, it's not. Why don't you go first, 9 to 5? Yeah. Uh, well, I picked up FIFA. As you guys know, I've been playing the shit out of that because I'm, I'm hooked on that game pretty much ever since I got that. I haven't played Madden at all because mm-hmm. I prefer FIFA over Madden. Have you but, been uh, a FIFA then fan I in also... years past, Justin? Yes, yes. I've okay. played the last three or four, and actually my buddy at work got me into it. I didn't play FIFA until I met him. Really? And he was like, you should play FIFA. You should play it. And I I didn't know shit about soccer. I don't, I'm don't. i not a soccer fan or football fan. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not a fan by any means necessary, but it got me into being a fan. And I learned so much more about soccer than I ever knew. And now I'm hooked on it. It's a great game. I'm obsessed with it. But uh, So uh, did you play uh, last year? It's like an indie game. It's, I'm, uh, what was that? Did you play last year's version? Or is this year's yeah. version better? Uh, the, they have like an ultimate team now, right? Yeah, uh, Ultimate Team has been in the last three. I want to say, oh, okay. like it was. I know for sure it was in last year's because I got points for having my Ultimate Team for last year's mm-hmm. uh, on this year's. So it kind of like transfers over in a in a in an aspect of you spending the amount of money you did on the game. Is that like so a card system where you like earn cards by playing, and then you can put those people that you are on the cards in your team? Yes, you buy you buy a pack, when you, but you earn the money by playing the game. So when you play your Ultimate Team games, you get so many coins for each game you play. You put those coins towards buying, as you said, a pack. You open up the pack, and it's always random on who you get in the pack. Mm-hmm. So better or worse than Destiny's loot system? Way better. Way better. <laughs> <laughs> Night and day better. That's that's why I've been staying away from Destiny because I feel like I'm wasting my time trying to find loot. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think that well, if you're hoping to pick up loot like randomly, I think it's a it's basically well they're gonna patch it later, but we'll talk about Destiny later. Yep. Yep. Uh, and I also been playing. I got it'll do. It's a it's a PC game, but it's also on the Wii U. Um, and I've been playing that because it reminds me of like a, a more sketched version of Zelda. It sounds like the, exactly the, what I say every time I put together a PC. Yeah, Lou. it'll do. It'll do. <laughs> it's it's a pretty cool. Like if you ever want to see some really cool artwork, check that game out. the The artwork is amazing on it. Okay. It and will, I think that's is it like a Zelda game. I think that's it. It's it's Zelda with less fighting and more puzzles. Like the puzzles are right out of Zelda, though. All the puzzles you do are Zelda. Like they stole the idea of everything that Zelda did in their puzzles and put it in that game. Is it like a two D uh, like top view. It's, it's like um, yeah. It's like it's like uh, what's the new one for 3ds? It's like that and uh, a link to the past, pretty okay. much that that style of map. That sounds very appealing to me. I'm looking forward to that new uh, game. Boy, I can't remember the name of it. It's like Zelda, but it's really zoomed out. They keep talking about how it's like you're zoomed way out, and you can see like a ton of stuff around it's the like character. Zelda meets Diablo. I'm trying to think of the name. It, um, yeah, I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'm looking forward to that too. Anything else, 9 to 5? Uh, I think that's it. I think that's about it. Yeah. All right. Beastly Gamer, you got any five-year-old games that you want to talk about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this week it, it's, been, it's been a little uh, it's been a little different for me. Uh, I played a, a minute amount of Destiny this week, probably a total maybe an hour the entire week, hour and a half maybe. Uh, it's just I haven't really had the time, and when I play Destiny, I really usually get into it three or four hours, and it just hasn't been that week for me, especially since I started playing Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Uh, so last my- week you talked a lot about Minecraft, and it, su- it surprised me, frankly, because you know it's an older game, and I was surprised that there's people out there who hadn't checked it out, but now that you've gotten into it, you're really digging it, huh? Yeah. Um, I, I've been hating on this game for years. 
you know, for, I mean, I'm, I'm that guy, if, if I make a mistake, I'm going to, you know, own up to it. And for years, the people say, hey, man, you play Minecraft? I'm like, fuck you. Uh, you know, that's, usually, <laughs> that's my response to, to people who, you know, in my mind, play this game made for people who didn't give a damn about graphics, gameplay, or any type of functionality. But I didn't know anything about the game. I was looking at the total exterior of the package, had no idea what it had to offer. And uh, to me, it's like The Sims meets Little Big Planet. Uh, meets your imagination. Mm. And don't, um, don't compare that game to Little Big Planet ever. You better never, ever, ever do that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, that's hey, right. No, Jumping no. works in Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tell them. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, it's uh, and I'm just now really starting to get into uh, different aspects of Minecraft. You know being able to make these worlds and fashion them how you like them to be, and then going back in there and populating them with enemies and mining and all this stuff is so fun. But i got to say the soundtrack is one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard. Now, I'm not a slouch when it comes to soundtracks. I mean, I love Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you know, uh, many Final Fantasy games, Super Turricane, Donkey Kong Country. I love good music. Mm-hmm. And um, Minecraft is up there. Uh, yesterday, my wife and I, we were driving around, going to yard sales and garage sales all yesterday morning, and um, we listened to Minecraft the entire day. So for the people who watch the show who like Minecraft, Sounds like my own up personal version of hell right there. Yeah, we, we did. We like, did. Um, you got a radio that only plays the Minecraft music. I mean, check it out. We, we were out at yard sales, and uh, we, we went to this one, and there was a bunch of women. And Kate, you know, she got out and she was looking at stuff. And they said, that music is so beautiful. I was like, you're damn right. <laughs> well, you listen to it nonstop in your living room for about five years. And then you tell me how you feel about that music. <laughs> I mean, to me, it's it's kind of new. And, like, last night, yeah. I, I told you guys pre-show, right before you went to sleep, it was 4, 4.30 in the morning. Kate asked me to turn it on so she could sleep too. And I was like, wow, it is good music. i got to say that. Maybe we did take it overboard, but I'm kind of excessive. When I like something, I kind of kill it, and then I'm done with it. But I think it shocks my- me that you've never had this game in your house before because you have children and like this game for my kids it's the game they play like it's their game you know like my I asked kids, them, go ahead my kids are they talk a lot of shit to me now about okay? Minecraft uh, yes yeah uh, but they do <laughs> uh, my 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 older son uh, I'm having a hard me. time holding back myself yeah go ahead. it's okay I just uh, but uh, Brett, he, oh, he keeps looking at me now. I play the game. He says, Dad, I could have told you about this a long time ago. I knew you liked the game. I just can't believe it took you so long, blah, blah, blah. They've been playing it for, for years. They've been playing the Pocket Edition. I never wanted to buy it on a console. I, I didn't want to corrupt my system, okay? I didn't want to corrupt my PS3 by putting that shit on there, my <laughs> PS4. And uh, I played the demo. I was like, I like this. And, and I ended up really liking it. But, yeah, I've been playing Minecraft this week. I've been playing Slender. The Arrival. Of is that PS3. a new game? or is that's it, it just PC came out on the 23rd. It came out on okay. consoles on the 23rd for Xbox 360 and PS3 only. And uh, it's a faithful representation of the PC uh, so version. So it's the same game as what was on the PC? No, it's, it's actually more. They've added new levels, uh, which the second level is brand new. Oh, okay. uh, you know, in the PC version, when you get to a certain point, you get a loading screen, and all of a sudden you're in a whole new area. The PS3 version that I played, you actually go from one area to another area, and it starts off. Plus, they've added new enemies. They've added new stories as well. It's a whole new level. Is Batman now? I don't know. It might might be (laughs) Medium Man. Medium Man. Yes. Um, Man of average build. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I I like the game. Uh, I think Slender's a really fun game for people like me who, who, who like to be scared every now and then. I played probably... From last night to today, probably about three or four hours. And uh, my video will be uh, posting right after BC Thoughts. It will be uh, my first impressions of the PS3 version of the game. And um, I think it's a really good representation. Of course, the game doesn't run at 60 frames per second. It's, it's at 30, but uh, it's really similar to the PC uh, experience. And I like Slender. So if you like Slender, it's $9.99 uh, for the PS3, the Xbox 360 version. And uh, I would implore you to get it if you never played it because it's a lot of fun. Also... Wait, wait. Do I get to hear you scream in that video like Mariah Carey? Uh, I think like, I'm I want to hear you hit those high notes. Uh, I, I think uh, I may have said shit bubbles maybe once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my word. Um, did we you, went out? 
Go ahead. You made a video when you first got your PC on the on the PC version too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you'll but, you'll. But for so me, you, the, you can see the difference within. Yeah, I I can see the difference. It looks a lot better on the PC to me. Yeah. Oh, really? But, but yeah, <laughs> big shock there, right? Um, but for me, the uh, the console experience is the one I gravitate toward most. I mean, mouse and keyboard, I just can't do it. It's a yeah. lot harder for me to articulate the movement and make. Wait, the, is that your gaming mouse? No, this is just. Hold that thing. Okay. You don't. Okay. okay. <laughs> Leave me alone. Are you a giant um, person or is that a miniature mouse? <laughs> it's, a regular, it's a regular mouse. This is it's a regular portable. mouse. Leave me alone. It's portable. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a 84 ounce drink. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, we went out yesterday and uh, we did some video game pickups. And I, I'm not going to really upload anything about it, but I'll show you guys what I got, okay? Yeah, I want to see that. Now, Did you play any knows already, games yet? Yeah, I played um, some Game Boy games. And, and, you know, it's kind of hard to go around and get exactly what you want, but I ended up picking up another Game, game Gear, second Game Gear. So, wait, you had one and now you have two? Yeah, this is the one I bought yesterday. It's actually in pretty decent condition, but I didn't pay anything for it. Uh, the guy's name was John, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he was a very... Very nice guy, uh, and him and his wife and three kids were doing a, a citywide yard sale. The whole city of uh, Stockbridge had a sale yesterday, and he oh, came cool. out and talked to me about you know all the games he had, and how he collected them for a long time, and uh, comic books and all kinds of stuff. And I told him who I am, and he looked at my channel and said, "Here, I want you to, I want you to have this." I said, "Oh, well, thank you, sir." <laughs> so, <laughs> so at the time it was raining, but it's a little ray of sunshine, kind of. Yes. <laughs> And uh, he had some uh, Game Boy, and he had some PS1 games, too. I think he tried to sell me Enter the Matrix, too. I said, no, you can keep no, that. No, yeah. And his wife, his wife tried to sell me Catwoman. I was almost kicked her in the face. Um, so the Game Boy games that he had were Turtles 3, Radical Rescue, and, you know, he got the cases and manuals for him, too. The manuals. Wow. Right here. Um, Bram Stoker's Dracula, which is in the case. Super Mario Land for Game Boy. Paper that Boy, game was good. Paperboy, which is my joint, and uh, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. So I got all these games for five bucks. I went to another yard sale and picked up a Game Boy Advance SP. Works fine with four four games, and the games were pretty crappy. I think she had Tekken Advance in there, and she had a uh, she had Nicktoons, Volcano Island. Is the SP backlit? Is that the first one that was backlit? Yeah, it, it was. It was the one I played Castlevania Symphony of the Night on and fell in love with. That, that may have been the reason for my first divorce. I paid, paid more attention to that console than my ex-wife. <laughs> eh, I think it was a good decision. Good times. Good times. <laughs> yes. um, so now I got you know a couple SPs and a couple Game Gears, and I think I want to, in honor of our good friend Not Too Nerdy Entertainment, who's un, unable to make it to the show today. I want to start doing my pickups to honor the man because he is a myth and a legend. But that's what I've been doing this week. Uh, Minecraft is awesome, and if you haven't played it, play it. I don't care what Briar says or 95 Gamer says. I have no problem with the game. I'm just it, it surprises me that you have kids and that game has never entered your life before. My kids know if you say Minecraft in this house, you get put out. Well, now Dad's addicted to Minecraft, so <laughs> yeah, I think so the story might have changed. We're all going to be homeless <laughs> together. Yes. <laughs> So, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft. I'm looking to get into Destiny. Kate's playing Destiny right now. She feels kind of bad because she's been wanting to level her character up. And uh, until they fix a few things, I think that um, I'll be okay playing Minecraft for now. I can maybe reduplicate some Destiny maps on Minecraft. But they're patching the game. They're doing a lot to the game and um, shutting down loot, cake, uh, loot, loot um, caves. And, yeah. you know, now we Great got new ones being about. exposed. Yeah. yeah, the new ones. Down. I am stupid. But that's a whole other topic. IGN, they shouldn't be reporting on that because as soon as they do, then Bungie's going to close that yeah. one down. Other people yeah. have something, damn it. <laughs> people have something. But that's that's been my week. What have you been I, up to? I guess I won't post that video I made about it then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bungie, Bungie actually said that once IGN posted that video, that's when they got the whole backlash of, you know, focus. They were focused yeah. on that loop cave. And as Did soon you as they read closed, their patch notes about it? No, I didn't read him. Oh, it was pretty interesting because what was cool about that loot cave, right, is, you know, of course everybody's trying to loot it and everybody's, you know, standing in the exact right spot 
you know, because if you go too far forward, then the guys will stop coming out. If you go too far back, they'll start coming out that side entrance, and it'll mess it up. But everybody knew exactly where to stand, and everybody knew, like, okay, somebody's going to run out of ammo, have to go over there to pick up some new ammo. So when somebody did, everybody would all go at the same time, come all back, and start firing into again. So it became this thing that you didn't have to talk to anybody about, but you'd get there, and there'd be four or five people there, and you never had to communicate with them. You just knew the rules. It was just an accepted thing. And they kind of, like, they mentioned it. Like, it was kind of, like, ridiculous how, like, this, like, loot farm <laughs> kind of, like, became this, like, little social, like, experiment. Oh. It was bizarre, you know? Yeah, so I, I, I thought their, I their notes about it were pretty cool. But they still I, shut it down. I think there was another one right there on Earth too. That there's, for there's me it was a, currently another one on Earth. Yeah, but there's I'm talking two. about outside, kind of like where the other one is. But uh, before you get to that point, but it is outdoors. Mm -hmm. That um, I actually ran into myself, and they didn't stop coming out. But I've never seen anybody post on that, so who knows that might be my breakthrough video. Yeah, make a video about there's, it. There's there's one by the boatyard too. <laughs> the the boatyard there. There's one right there. Yeah. Where all the dudes spawn on the ship, you can if you clear them all out and stand on the other ship, they keep spawning in that doorway. Oh, you really? Can shoot through, yeah, and kill them all on that ship. We were doing it yesterday. Just I was doing it just to get my 200 kill uh, bounty or whatever. Yeah, or 200 headshots, right? For the yeah, 200 bounty. headshots. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's a tough one to get. Is uh, I, I I ran into not too nerdy one day, and he was near there, and it, I hung out with him for like a half hour while he was still trying to get that. It's a tough one to get. Yeah. Oh, and uh, for all the viewers who don't know, which most of you probably do, Sony's doing this uh, weekend of free PlayStation Plus. So if you have a PS3 or PS4, and one of the few people who don't have PlayStation Plus, uh, now you can get online for the PS4 and, and, and experience PlayStation Plus for free. So use it. You got till midnight. That's right. You got six more hours on the East Coast. Go, go download all your free shit and play it. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been playing Destiny still. Um, I... I've kind of hit like a frustrating point where I know what I have to do to upgrade my main hunter to level 30, and I don't really want to do it. Uh, you know, all those ascendant materials are difficult to come across. Even if you know exactly where to get them, you have to do those high-level strikes. Oh. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> you have to do those high-level strikes. Uh, you have to do... You have to do the uh, kind of random events, and I even went so far as to find a website that tells you exactly when those events are going to happen and where to find them. And uh, you see, I'm getting a lot of noise on your side. I'm just going to mute you temporarily. Uh, so I just kind of hit a wall there where I just didn't want to do it anymore. So what I ended up doing is I started a new Titan character this morning, and it took me about four hours to get him up to level nine. It might have been a little less than that. And then uh, the kid, one of the, my kids started playing on that account with that Titan. He leveled it up to a level 10. So it's, it's I don't know where I'm at with that game. I'm looking forward to them patching the game because they've said they're going to patch it so that, uh, you know, you get what you think you're getting. Right? The... The purple engrams are going to contain legendary materials, but the ascendant stuff is so hard to get that I'm a little bit frustrated with it. Do you do you feel you should hold on to your engrams until they fix it? You know what I'm saying? Like because if you collect a legendary engram or a rare engram, should you just wait it out and then get it? No, they said that if you have a legendary, yeah, it should produce a purple uh, item. No, but uh, that's post patch. Uh, and that patch is coming out later this week. But if you keep uh, Engram through that time, it's going to act like an Engram does now. It's oh, okay. So broken. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that game. That game is pissing me off because I've done uh, five, five event, five or six events yesterday, and I got one ascended shard. I'm like, I'm done with this shit, man. Yeah. If you're going to give me one ascended shard for every like three hours I play of this game, it's going to take me forever to rank up. Yeah. I'm done with that. That's why I ultimately just said, you know, I'm going to start a new character and start leveling that up. That's actually a really good idea because you probably have better chance in leveling them up to 20 and then starting them higher than that, you know? Yeah, that's the other thing Before. is I've gotten so much stuff that I can use to that Titan. Like, I've got guns that I can be using. I've got, I've already got uh, light armor that I can give them, you know, that yeah, I've gotten from 
other stuff, so... Yeah, I got a legendary chest plate for a hunter, so I was like, I can put that on my hunter once he gets up there, too, if I started a hunter, you yeah. know? Yeah, and hunters are badass. They're fun as hell. I like the Titan, too, though. I, I'm having a good time with the Titan. I still I still prefer the hunter. I just like the hunter's throwing knife. I miss that. From yeah, the, the throwing throwing knife in the alpha awesome. and the beta, I was like, the throwing knife is the... Like, put that in every game, please. Every first-person shooter needs a throwing knife or a tomahawk. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> I 100% agree with you. Because when you kill somebody with that shit, it's so gratifying. It's like, yes, even in the story mode, it's like, that's cool. That's yeah. cool to me. It is cool, but in the multiplayer, it's even better. Yeah. Especially, you can upgrade your hunter so you have two of them, and if you get two consecutive kills with it, you really feel like a badass. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Are those are those a one-shot kill in uh, the, the Crucible or no? No, they'll do about 75% damage, so your second guy has to already be damaged. Okay, okay. What I normally do is I... I start spraying them down with my auto rifle, and then I just start hucking them to see if I can hit them. Because they're hard to hit, you know? They're yeah. not Call of Duty easy, I think. Yeah, Call of Duty, you're bouncing them off of roofs and hitting people with them. Yeah, those are some <laughs> funny videos, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Call of Duty, uh, it's predicted that Activision is shipping 15% less copies of Call of Duty than they did with Call of Duty Ghosts. What? Yeah. So, what? Analysts are saying that they're predicting them to sell millions of dollars less this year than last year. Uh, and that's after Black Ops... So Call of Duty Ghosts sold less than Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 sold less than Modern Warfare 3. It seems like we're on the slow decline, or maybe quick decline, of Call of Duty at this point. You guys think that uh, Call of Duty's days are numbered here, or do you think this is just people don't know what to expect from this year's Call of Duty? So I think... I think that's what it is more so than they're they're numbered is it's no one knows what to expect from it and people a lot of people are going to wait until it comes out and gets reviewed and see how good it is multiplayer wise yeah which I don't I don't see it's going to I don't it's going to destroy Titanfall in in my eyes the movement is already killing Titanfall and really to me to me yeah. that's the best movement I've seen in a first person shooter it's uh, fast I it disagree looks, with you guys it looks totally. really good it looks really I like, good. I like Titanfall's. I like Titanfall, but I, I like the whole running aspect. I wish I wish this game had running on walls, but then it would really be called the Titanfall clone. You know, yeah, yeah. So they can't do that. If they add that in there, they're gonna be, they're gonna be ripped on forever for that. You know, so that they gotta keep so it cool. And oh yeah, the, way well, the well, momentum worked. Like the longer that you stayed off the ground, the faster your character would get going. Like the more you yeah. bounced around, that was a really cool mechanic. And like, it definitely, the more you played, the better you got at it. In this, it's just gonna, you know, you can double jump. It seems and like. And some of the maps, some of the maps were catered to that. Like they would make a map oh, yeah. where the whole map is a wall that you can run on, which is cool. Yeah, that was but, cool. I, I got a question for you, Briar. Uh, you said that you don't agree that the movement is that great. What aspect of the movement would you improve, or what about the movement do you well, see? No, more? compared to Titanfall, I, you guys said that it looks better than Titanfall. I thought Titanfall's movement was really awesome. I think that Advanced Warfare's movement looks a little more limited. Where it looks like it's really just got a double jump and kind of like a boost side to side thing, whereas Titanfall had that wall running mechanic that I really dug. It had a double jump and the wall running, which I thought well, was awesome. The, 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 there are different ways that, to move your character in Advanced Warfare too. You got this grappling hook, you got air strafing, um, you got a double double jump, but you also have a hover ability. So it's it's not quite as limited. It may look different, but I think until we actually get our hands on it, we really can't say. But to me, it right, looks phenomenal. Right. The way that it actually moves around how fast it is, it looks great to me. Um, as, as far as Call of Duty Advanced Warfare goes, if you guys heard about the new uh, multiplayer mode, uh, Exo Survival, and uh, if you have, what are, you, what are your thoughts are on Are you it? talking about the co-op mode? Yeah, yeah. it's a co-op co mode. It's a four-player co-op mode, uh, and it's basically a horde mode where you uh, get together with three of your buddies and, and you take on infinite waves of enemies, and uh, during these waves, unlike... Um, the horde mode of Gears of War, you don't get a boss every every tenth wave, but you get objective based missions during each wave. Like one mission one wave you might actually have a limited amount of ammo. Another wave you might have uh, four turrets that drop in randomly during on the map and are trained against you and your teammates and overcoming objectives gets you get you unlocks that you're able to access in game to improve your exosuit and your, your gun. And sounds um, lame, I'll never play it. Uh <laughs> 
<laughs> Honestly, I, like I'll, I'll just never touch it. It re- actually reminds me of the squad mode that they talked about Spec Ops. last year. No, it squad. reminds me of Spec Ops from back in the day from uh, Modern Warfare 3, I think it was in. Yeah, it, was- it sounds exactly like Spec Ops. Yeah. yeah. Uh, squad mode last year was announced as the co-op mode, uh, and they they ended up kind of deking everybody because they didn't talk about that extinction mode at all until about a week before the game got released. So there's some speculation that we don't really know what that co-op mode is going to be. You know, there could be more to it than what we're seeing now. Because last year, uh, what Infinity Ward did is they showed us squad mode about this time, and then a week before the game they showed us extinction mode, which is more like the zombie mode that we were all hoping for. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't turn out to be as good as zombies. but So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see something more that we haven't seen yet for co-op. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel that it's, it's, it's gonna have legs, but it's not gonna have legs. Like everyone wants zombies. Everybody yeah. loves zombies, and yeah. you're, that could be a a big reason why they're taking such a hit in sales. Is a lot of people buy Call of Duty for just the zombies. Yeah, I know people that put more hours in zombies than the multiplayer itself. So yeah, it's, it's a fun it's mode. Kind of there's, and there's like a community of YouTube channels just based around zombies, you know? Oh, oh hell yeah, and finding all the little bugs, and all the things you can do during that, and like, Extinction, Extinction was new, but it wasn't necessarily bad, you know? Like, I thought it was cool because Extinction had an end, you know? Like, the the, the more the, the zombies got drawn in, it it, uh, it ended up having an end to it in the long run, you know? Like, especially with the earlier, or the, the later version of Zombies. Extinction did the same thing, so it's like if you had make a mode like that, make an end to it because if you can't beat it, I don't, I don't see the reason of playing it. Yeah, you know? it's almost like an endless runner. I remember watching a video. There was a series of video where a guy was talking about one topic, and he was showing like level fifty, level fifty two, level fifty four, <laughs> and just like he just yeah. endlessly, he just had this train of zombies running in a circle. And he would just pick some off, like, every once in a while when he got to certain spots. It was, like, the most boring thing to watch. It had to be the most boring thing to do. But he was going for, basically, like, a world record, like, how long he, or which level of zombies he could go to. And at some point, the game just kind of maxes out. Like, we can't put any more zombies out here. So it's not yeah, ever going to get not, harder than it is now. Yeah, it's not going to be able to draw that amount of zombies because it would it would break the game. It would crash it. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been a big zombies guy. Uh, it's not my thing. I really, I really enjoy playing multiplayer games against like real people. Uh, now that I've discovered how much I like playing Destiny with you guys, though, I, I can't, I can't say that I wouldn't play some zombies either. Yeah, I think it, I think it helps out those kind of modes a lot. Playing with friends and people that actually communicate and people you get along with, for that matter, not some schmuck that's going to leave you in the dust and just do his own thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. We should do that one day, guys. Get together and play some zombies. Oh, I know we can do that. Hook we up my Xbox awesome. 360. Have some fucking fun. I, love that, uh, like, I think it's the best genre on earth. I never even played that mobster-based one for Black Ops 2 with like Ray Liotta and all those guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. I never even played that. Um, I know, you mean with uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar and all that? No, it's like a... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, there's one that has there's one that has uh, Danny Trejo on. Oh right? yeah, yeah, you're Sarah right. Michelle it's Geller. It has Freddy um, Krueger, dude. Freddy, yeah, Freddy yeah the guy who played Freddy Krueger. Oh really? It's and like Left 4 Dead. Uh, it's like Left 4 Dead. Dead. Yeah, yeah, it's like Left 4 Dead, but um, it's it's Call of Duty Zombies, and it was really popular. Call of Duty Briar Rabbit. You didn't know this? I don't play zombies. I don't even play. I have still yet to play the single player campaign on Call of Duty Ghosts, and I probably logged hundred hours into that game. <laughs> Hardcore competitive player. Yeah, that's not why I come to Call of Duty. You know. Yeah, I feel you. You know, but there there is a, a huge uh, group or a community of people who only go to Call of Duty for like zombies. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I know people who only play zombies or only play the. Uh, what, what mode is it on Call of Duty Ghost? Um, I never played Extinction? it. Extinction? Extinction mode. I know people who only play that. People at my job only play Extinction. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but it's good that a game like that can have so many different avenues for gamers and people gravitate towards one or two or maybe all of them. But me, I'm just competitive with Call of Duty. That's kind of this... one of the reasons it's so hard to, like, kind of kick Call of Duty off the main stage is because they offer so much value for that $60, you know? 
the multiplayer people play that for a year. The zombies people play that for a year. You know, and they're two separate groups of people. And then you got the campaign that you know most people don't play. Oh, I mean, most people do play, but not after like the first month they own the game. You know, it's a lot of value. You got two modes in that game that separate groups of people like will play for a year or more. Black Ops Two people are still playing multiplayer in Black Ops Two and making videos about it. Yeah, yeah and they're doing really well too. I think yeah. this one. Uh, it's hard to believe they're shipping less than Ghost, but I think it'll definitely outsell Ghost. People like us, or even people who aren't like us, are looking at this game and it looks great. It looks fast. It looks like it's a lot of fun. I'm worried it's about it. I'm not. I'm not with you. I like. I want it to be good because I love playing Call of Duty, but it doesn't look that good. Really? Yeah. I think I'm getting tired. I'm getting really tired of the whole jumping mechanic in every game. Like you made a you made a video about this is the year of kangaroo jumping shooters. Yeah. And I'm fully with you on that, and I'm honest to God tired of it. I'm getting really tired of it, and then you got Halo Collection. That They're all about kangaroo jumping. That's where it that started, game. as far as I can yep. tell. Yep. Yeah, and I mean, I don't Fall mind it in Destiny. Destiny because... Call of Duty, it's like, like, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, in Destiny, I don't mind it because, you know, I, I feel the heritage is Halo, and that's where that, that control style comes from. Titanfall didn't bother me because it was kind of this new way of doing stuff in a first-person shooter. But now it just feels like Call of Duty is just kind of... Did I say Call of Duty last time or did I say Titanfall? You said I meant Titanfall. Titanfall. So Call of Duty just feels tacked on because that's not what Call of Duty has been in the past. And, like, I've played so much of that in the last year. It's not like... If this was coming out of left field and Destiny wasn't a thing and Titanfall weren't a thing, then that's great. You know, it'd feel fresh and I'd be excited for it. But now it's just like... But what if I just want like my plain old Call of Duty experience, which you'll get, because there is going to be a no EXO suit playlist. So, I mean, you can so, still play plain old so you, Call of Duty. So you can play it without the whole like air jumping and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then there's the loot drop system that's really got me worried. That's more worrisome to me than the um, the double jump. Yeah, it's because like what happens if I'm playing, you know, you. 9 to 5 Gamers and Beastly Gamer. And uh, 9 to 5 Gamers is just blowing us out of the water. I can start shooting him first, and he'll turn around and just blow me out of the water. So I try and f I ask him what gun he's using, and he tells me this gun. I'm like, oh, I, I don't have that one yet. And there's no way for me to just get it because it's got to be a loot drop. So, like, so what happens in that, you know? So that stuff is random, right? As far as I can tell, yeah, it's random. Okay, because like, like for instance, like a uh, battlefield has the same system, but it's it's not as random as that because you get the gun, but then you level up the gun, and it then based off of what you do, you get random stuff for that gun. You could unlock a, a grip or a scope or whatever it may be, you know. But it's not it's going to be random in that aspect. But you're still going to have the chance to use that gun, which is cool. Yeah. So I have a feeling they should do that instead of being so you don't even get the gun. And you have to get it in a loot drop. It's well, kind of asinine. You'll, you'll get the basic gun, but you might not get this like special variety of the gun that comes automatically equipped with a silencer and has like a faster firing rate. You know, yeah, because so you it's don't need special, a, You know, so you don't need to use spots for those because the silencer is already equipped on it, right? I'm assuming that's the way uh, it's going to no, be. No, I think because... I think it'll, it'll still take up a spot, but there's no way to make your like say I've got an M16 and you've got an M16 but your M16 has a faster fire rate because it's like an exotic version of this gun there's no mm -hmm. way that my M16 can ever fire as fast as your M16 because you've got that exotic version so you're just always oh, going to wow. be faster that's crazy I, I don't know maybe they found a way to balance that I mean the same sort of things happening in Destiny right now and they haven't found a way to balance it definitely yeah, that's, a, that's really a big problem with Destiny, that uh, these weapons, none of them are, are really the same. And right. people are still playing and having a good time, even in the Crucible. Yeah. You know, uh, I will say, though, that you can pretty much take any of the Shinjen uh, variants of the auto rifles and do awesome in the in the Crucible with it. It doesn't really matter. Iron Banner is going to be a different thing. That comes out, I think, October 7th. That's yeah. going to be a different thing because now you're doing like, real damage stats like you would in the P versus E. But any Was of the... That, go ahead. I have a feeling I'm going to like this more than the normal Crucible because it's going to 
it's going to be like the hardcore mode of the game, you know, like my bullets are going to actually do damage and it's going to actually take the shield down and my headshot might actually count for a headshot instead of me shooting a guy in the head six times and then finally counting. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, I don't know how they handled it. I can't remember from playing the beta how exactly they handled it. And everybody was level seven in that. Like, so, <laughs> you know, everybody was pretty much equal anyway. Yeah. So we'll see. It'll be, it'll be crazy to see a, a person two or three levels under the max wearing people out because of what they're set up as. So I think that the Iron Banner is going to drive people to upgrade as much as possible to be the best. I mean, but the thing is, once you hit the level cap, everybody's going to be at that level cap. But then you can... The nice thing about the way Destiny's gear system works from level 1 through 20 is that sometimes I'll get rid of gear that, like an armor chest plate that doesn't have as good armor because I really like how it makes my hand cannon reload faster. You know, so I just, I'll just hold on to it because, sure, my armor isn't as high, but I really like using a hand cannon, so I, I want to keep that stat. And once you get into the legendary equipment, you're getting that stuff so infrequently that you never make those decisions. You basically take whatever you can. Mm-hmm. For, for the very first time, I made that decision yesterday on my Hunter, because I went over to Zer and I bought a, uh, and I saw that he had a helmet that allows you to keep your radar up when you're ADSing with your primary weapon, which I'm like, wow, that's a big advantage, you know? Like, so I yeah. definitely want that. Uh, so what I did is I got rid of, or I took my exotic chest armor off and put legendary armor on my chest and put a new exotic helmet on my, on my head. And that demoted me from level 27 to 26 until I ranked those pieces of armor up. So that was the very first time I got to make a decision like that post-level 20, where I was making decisions like that all the time, level 1 through 20. And I, I think that's kind of a failing on Destiny's part, is like I'd like to be making that decision all the time. Like maybe have three full sets of armor, depending on what I want to do. If I'm playing P versus mm-hmm. E, I have an armor set that's set up for that. If I'm playing P versus P, I got an armor set that's set up for... I want long range battle and have another one set up for close range battle like shotgun auto rifle and scout rifle sniper rifle or something like that, you know? Yeah. But classes. it's just too hard to get that shit. Now, uh, these patches that are, that, that are going to be coming out, what all are they going to change? I know they're going to change the loot system. Yeah. It's going to uh, make it so that the, the, depending on what, what color Ingram, uh, unique, legendary, you're actually going to get an item in that vein Right. Uh, once it's which is fabricated, but are they doing other things to uh, equal the playing field in Destiny with these patches? I don't know. We'll see. we'll have to see. They're definitely rebalancing the Crucible. Um, yeah, they're talking about a bunch of weapons. A bunch of different weapons are getting either nerfed so they're lower or higher tolerance of power yeah. or whatever. For the most part, I agree with what they've been talking about, too. Like the auto rifle, they're not talking about lowering the damage, but they're talking about lowering the range. And that yeah. makes a lot of sense because then the scout rifle becomes a viable weapon. Yeah. And, and then so they were talking about the, the shotgun, rifle. too. Yeah, and the they're shotgun, lowering the, shotgun. Or the range on that. Uh, again, that, you know, that the range on the shotgun is, to me, it's kind of ridiculous. You know, it, it, it kills from pretty far away with one shot. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a having a, to hell, like a muzzle a muzzle on the shotgun in Battlefield. If you put one of those on, you can literally zone in on your with your sniper rifle, get mm-hmm. your scope right on it, switch to your shotgun, and shoot them, and it's a headshot. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> now, uh, I haven't had a chance to try the uh, DLC that's uh, been available for the last few days. I know that you guys have. Uh, any impressions you want to share? The Are you talking about the Queen's... Yeah. Queen's Bounty stuff? Uh, it's cool. You get automatic legendaries by completing it, which is nice. Uh, when they first released it, if you did it multiple times, you could trade in your legendary armor that you got from doing it and get uh, ascended shards. Yeah, for, and they you get three that. of them per armor, and they x that out because that's basically what was allowing people to level up very quickly. We saw within days of that, um, the Queen's Bounty, we saw our first level thirty on Destiny. Uh, and they X'd it out. Mm. Which it was really pissed me off because it's so hard to find those ascended shards. Yeah, it's it's bu- it's bullshit. I have I have twenty some th- or uh, twenty thousand glimmer right now. Cause isn't that is that the max or is twenty five thousand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have twenty thousand glimmer right now. 
I have so so much glimmer. I can rank up all my armor right now. I have two ascendant shards. I need six per rank up. Yeah. I'm like, shit is stupid, man. So yeah. more than dumb. likely, that that'll be patched more than likely nine to five. You think? I'd hope or, so, or else I'm pretty much done playing it. Or you, like you when said Briar did, said, make another character and then start over. You said it took you three hours to get one ascendant shard. Yeah, I was doing like you can look up a public uh public event schedule and it has a timer on it, and then it alerts you on your computer screen and shows you where you should be at what time. No matter what map you're on, just type in uh, destinypublicevent.com. That's what it's called, actually. <laughs> and, no, and it shows. Like, you can click on the map you're on, and it will show you, and it will alert you the time that and what area you need to be in. I did, that for, I did that for three to four hours yesterday. Got one ascending chart. I was like, fuck this game. Yeah. It's 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 hard. It's really hard to get those. The easiest way that I found to get them is to do a strike mission on like level twenty six, and then you'll get some. Yeah, yeah. But those missions are hard. I, I, is it level twenty six or level twenty eight? Actually, it might be twenty eight. I think it's twenty. Yeah, it's twenty eight. It's twenty eight. Twenty six is the the daily or the weekly strike thing. Yeah. So it's like you gotta. I mean, you're gonna spend some time on that on that strike. And you're probably gonna die, and you might not make it through. We, me, not too nerdy, and uh, another one of my subscribers, CT. I think it's CT two hundred two. We yeah. just couldn't make it uh, because we had two warlocks and a hunter. We needed a titan, and Robbie uh, joined up and as a titan, and we needed that shield. And we finally got through it with a uh, probably after two hours, three hours. It was tough. Yeah, I, I, I get, I get making. I get making a game where you have to grind to level up. I get that. I'm all about that. But when you make your loot system so fucking broken where it's hard to level up and it's very random, it is very randomized. Like certain things where I usually get ascendant shards and then I do it and I get no ascendant shards. I'm sorry. I'm 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 borderline done with your game. <laughs> well, it, it frustrated me uh, going for long periods of times doing strikes, going to strike playlists, or you know going to the crucible. And then you, you do really well, and you see that you get nothing. To me, that fr that's very frustrating to me. That when you do really well, you're still not rewarded. Sometimes you can do nothing and get the best thing in the whole fucking party, and yeah. that's yep. one thing that frustrates me. Yeah, yeah. like some some right. bum in the crucible doing absolutely nothing on your team, and you get an exotic yeah. weapon. You literally know, like, really? staring at the wall. Like, literally. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't referring I wasn't refer <laughs> <laughs> I was referring to like 90% of the people I ever play with. Like, how do you get a good weapon or good armor and you're doing nothing? Yeah, and then the guy at the top of the playlist gets nothing. Yeah, yeah that, that, that always sucks. It would be Have nice you... if there's some kind of reward for, you know, performance. Being now, a beast, yeah. I haven't seen any raids um, because I'm only level 24. Yeah. Um, you guys, I'm pretty sure, have seen it. What are your thoughts on the raid system? And, and I've heard people say this, that the raid system is going to, is going to be that lifeblood that keeps this game relevant, keeps people coming back to it. Is that what you guys think? I don't know, man. We're three I'm, weeks out of release, and I still haven't done it yet because I can't. I can't get a group of six to all join up on a Saturday or Sunday. Okay, well I'll be twenty six uh, for sure, and I'll, that's one more guy you can add. I'll make sure I hit twenty six. Uh, Hopefully by the middle of the week. We should, and, uh, we could, we should plan. We should that. plan that. We should plan to try to do the raid this weekend. I know two twenty eights right now that I roll with, like All on right. a regular. Let's do it because so. it takes some time. That's the thing, yeah. right? So you, yeah. what you don't want is like somebody saying, "Yeah, I'll do it," and then an hour into it, bailing on you. Because yeah, you need to you need to literally set aside some time and be like, "I'm getting on, and this is what I'm doing." Yeah, I mean, I've had strikes with subscribers where they've just bailed, like they just disappeared. I'm like great, you know, like you're, like <laughs> we're doing like at level 26. I'm a level 26. Those are hard at that point. You can't do them by yourself. You need a you need a group of three. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I you know, if I'm if I'm gonna play, I'll make myself available for sure. You know, I don't have any parent telling me to get off the game. I am the parent. Damn yeah. it. Right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> No, so, the yeah. raid, the raids. Um, a few guys from work. They they play on Xbox. Uh, four or five of them actually, and they went in with their buddies, and they said they got in the, the front door and died instantly. Like shit. they said, they they could not do shit to the. And one dude, the dude that was talking to me is a 26, and all his buddies are 27s, and they couldn't do a, a, anything. But the problem that they have is three of them are the same class. They said you have yeah. to have. 
have a variety of different classes because everyone's everyone's technique. Like uh, for instance, uh, Hector said that if if I'm a wizard or uh, if I'm a warlock and he's a warlock, if he's using the secondary thing and I'm using the main one, then we're good because you need to have one or the other. And then for the instance, the same thing with the hunter or with the titan. You want to have ones that have the secondary maxed out. Or the primary maxed out. So yeah. So um, basically, you need uh, two groups of each class, three of each. Yeah, I mean, in a sense, two, in two a sense, of each they, class. That's what a lot of people have said, and they said that's the best way to run it. Okay. Because you need people with like the shield bubble, or you need people with all sorts of different grenades. Because depending on the class of warlock you are, you get uh, like a, a purple grenade, or you get a fire grenade, and de- depending on the shield of the enemy, you break them their shield down a lot faster. So there'll be there'll be warlocks that will be whipping their grenades, sticking them to the guy, and then as their shield breaks down, you already have to be shooting them. So it's it, it takes a lot of like you you guys need to work as a team and communicate very, very well in order for it to work, I guess. See, it's, one it's thing crazy. That I can I can honestly say this. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who feel my pain. One thing that kind of made it easier for me not to play Destiny was the fact that you level up so random that there doesn't seem to be any structure. It's like I feel like if I go in right now and I play for two hours, there's a there's a possibility I'll be the same level I'm at. You know, uh, it's a, likely. It's likely, yeah, I think. It, yeah. You know, I just feel like if you're putting in effort into a game, putting in time, and you're actually progressing, that you should be rewarded for that progression in a more structured manner rather than just a Rubik's Cube of boxes that, that spins yeah, and then think, all of a sudden you get something, you know? I, I think that's somewhat false because what you're really doing after level 20 is earning Crucible and Vanguard marks. Yep. That's yep. how you get That's how you get the gear you want. I mean, you, yeah, you can hope for the legendary drops. I think you should think of that as a bonus more than, like, this is how I'm going to earn stuff because what you're the way you're going to earn stuff is, you know, you'll buy stuff on the weekends from Xur, you know, and that'll be really cool stuff, you know, tr- Keep those strange coins and motes of light for him. But what you're really doing is you're grinding for uh, crucible points and vanguard points, marks. Because that's because that's the way you're going to get all the the guns and stuff that you really want to use. Because yeah. any a lot of the guns and a lot of the drops you find aren't worth a shit, and you just break them down. Like I have, I have 198 weapon parts, and I think I have. The weird chandelier white looking thing that you need for armor. I think I have like damn near 200 of those too. Yeah. So it's like I have no 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 need for this, the items that I find. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But when I buy something, I'm like doing research about it. Like, yeah. all right, yeah, I'm like, let me Google this gun real quick and see yeah, if it's I got 160 Vanguard marks. Am I gonna buy this, this gun <laughs> or this gun? You know, like I want to make sure I'm spending those wisely because it took me 20 hours to earn those. You know. That was that was my biggest problem with uh, you asking about the queens thing, Beastly. The biggest problem I had with that was I played. I have double the amount of hours of some of the people that I've played with, and they got the queen armor, and they're like a, a rank behind me now. I'm like, how the fuck does that make sense? Yeah. Like I put in triple the time that you've put in the game just because this queen thing's out. You're right up there with me now. Yeah, that armor was good too. Like it did yeah, some cool yeah. stuff. Like yeah. melee attacks, like that's what everybody's always looking for is the the armor that gives you a quicker melee attack, and that it was there. Well, that's the thing that kind of, the first time. That's I got. the thing nine to five. That's what can kind of deflate a gamer, knowing that you put in twice as much time. Oh, yeah. And, and and then you look at a guy who just basically got started compared to you, and they they have better shit or equal to you, and you're like, what what the hell am I doing? You know, that's yeah, one that's thing. Like- my but my my buddy at work he goes he goes yeah I'm a, I'm a 26 already this is when I was just turned to 27 I just turned to 27 I'm like how the fuck are you a 26 you got like not even 20 hours in the game <laughs> meanwhile I had like 68 hours in the game yeah but well, you know what like now no you know now you know and he can talk to you about how to level up faster like it took me four hours to get to level nine it took me I bet. 10 hours to get to level 9 last time because I wasn't doing bounties. I wasn't, you know, I didn't know exactly how to level up quickly, and I'm sure it's going to be the same. I bet if we're playing this game, if we go come back to this game September 2015, like it's going to be a completely different way of leveling up. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm sure I, the level cap stuck, will change. Yeah. I was stuck on stupid till I hit level 20. You know, I was just wasn't doing any bounties, just going out, you know, going out yeah. to the world, doing missions, yeah. uh, doing strikes with my wife, and I, I really, I hadn't grasped, 
how deep it was as far as the things you can do to add to those experience points. But yeah, once you finally get your your head around it, you can do one thing and get triple the amount of experience that you would have initially going in with with limited information. So yeah, I think yeah. when I do pick an another character, probably a Titan, um, I'll I'll probably have more fun with it <laughs> because now I feel like damn it, I wasted all this time. You know, just level it up as slow as possible. When I could, if if I had learned more, if I spent more time and invested more time learning the the way that this game is set up, I could have been here a long time ago. You know? Yeah, I agree. You know, if I if you knew then what you know now, right? You know, it's that's true about everything. And Bungie was very very quiet about how to do certain stuff, so we had to figure it out for ourselves. So now going back through, it's much easier and it's much faster. Like. If you're if you're doing something in that game and you're not doing a bounty with it, then you're basically wasting your time. Yep. You know, yeah. like if you're not, you, don't do you it. Should select, like, yep. You should select a bounty right away, and if you don't do that, you should automatically be playing the Crucible or trying to get Vanguard marks. Yeah, or and looking at the fun. left side of the screen and finding yep. out what they're giving extra stuff for. Yep. But yeah, I mean, it's tough. It's tough, and then. Once you get there, there's not a whole lot there. You know, there's the raid, and that's about it. So we're, we really need more end game, in game content. <laughs> I said that really bad. End game content. <laughs> <laughs> content, content. <laughs> well, what about out, out of game content? Um, yeah. So, so basically, at the rate that the DLC is being released right now, you don't think it's enough to realistically keep. Players invested unless they they increase the amount of DLC at a time maybe. The because problem, of course. The, go ahead. No no no. Finish what you're saying. Go ahead. The Queen's Wrath is is a new story you know or a new part of the the actual campaign of the game. No, it's not. It's not. No. No. You're playing the same missions again. Really? Just at a, yeah. Just yeah, just select it at a different level. It's it's at a different it level. Like heroic mode. Exact shit. Yeah. Ah. Damn it! <laughs> the problem, the because problem that I see Destiny having is their first DLC launches in November and their second DLC launches in May. The biggest problem to me is, guess what? I'm not playing fucking Destiny in November. There's no way I'm putting Destiny in my fucking console in November. I'll be There's all over too it. Too many fucking games to play. <laughs> He's gonna be all over it. I'm gonna be all over it. I can't wait. I, to me, Destiny is still grabbing me because those harder missions. When you get into those really hard missions. It is very compelling. Like the actual oh, mechanic yeah. of playing the game with two friends on a strike mission and really having to strategize, like where exactly is this shield going to get laid down? Who's going to use a super at what time? Like w we have to work together or we're not going to make it. That is super compelling. They, and I can replay it over and over again because it's different every time based on what happens, like what goes wrong and what goes right. So... I, I don't know that I'll play straight through to November. I mean, it, it depends on what comes out. I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to Shadows of Mordor, so I'm going to be playing that. And that's nothing, not because I'm hating on Destiny. It's because I really want to play Shadows of Mordor. You, know, you said that for a while, though, so we know that, that you know the the excitement you have for for that yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I do know that, like, I really enjoy this game, and I. I can tell you that it wouldn't be the same if it was a single-player game. If this was a single-player game, I probably would have put it down by now. It's the, okay. it's the multiplayer aspect of like really trying to coordinate these strikes with friends. I, I'm in a unique, awesome. I'm in a uniquely awkward position with Destiny because I have to go back and forth with PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, and of course the experience mirrors one another, but who I play with changes as well. Yeah. And so. A majority of the time that I'm playing now, you know, if you guys aren't on, I'm playing with my wife. She's playing right now as we speak. Yeah. And uh, right before we started the show, she came out and she said, I need you to help me do this Queen's Wrath mission when you get done with the show. And I was like, okay, fine. Damn, I was going to ask you if you wanted to get on with me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. But um, she, um, we, we went to do the weekly, the weekly mission and the weekly quest last week. And it was uh, level 26. Yeah. And, uh... We got our asses handed to us for two hours. I think I may have mentioned it to you guys. Yeah. Did we you ever destroyed. beat it? No. I, I got whooped so bad I really didn't even go back. I was like, let's just go do a fucking strike playlist, you know, because every time we got in there together, <laughs> we got destroyed. There's like a, a third wave. Once the third wave starts, 
all these warlocks come out. It's like three or four. Oh, I know exactly what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, they just let horrible. you have it. And so we were standing back by the entrance door, yeah. and then some more guys are coming down the stairs toward us, and it was just anarchy. We got we got fucked. It was just the two of you? You didn't have a third person? Yeah. And, Steve, one guy joined us, and then as soon as that third wave came, he nah. left. Nah. So <laughs> and so, I mean, I'm not the kind of you know gamer to say, damn it, we got to play something else, but... It got to the point where I I come to the slow realization that we're not going to be able to beat this shit. <laughs> yeah, you're not used to seeing that in video games. Usually, yeah. if you work hard enough, you'll get it. You know. And so I mean, she was the first one to say it because you know, the way she is, she's very humble. She said, "Babe, I don't want you to waste your time. We can be playing something else. I don't think we're going to be able to do it." I'm the beast of the gamer. I said, "Man, fuck that. We about to do this shit." <laughs> An hour later, they don't we're call still... me the beast of the gamer because I give up. <laughs> Hell yeah. An hour later, here we go. We're still getting our asses chewed. I looked at her with a, with a face of dismay, and I said, "Well, uh, it's, it's probably time to be time to be quit." And I haven't Brett's, gone back Brett's, to Brett's that. punching the fucking wall. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so I got my ass kicked and handed to me, and like that that scares me. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to go back there unless I have people who are willing to to, to tough it out and fight and, and stay. And it was just. It, it deflated me to a degree, you know? yeah. and so I'm, I'm and in the mindset. You gotta have the right classes. You gotta have a titan on that mission because the yeah, titan. We didn't. Is, yep. The titan is shielding you from all those wizards, uh, all those like projectiles, and you're getting extra health by hanging out inside that uh, that shield. Spear. Okay. Yeah. See, we didn't know that the guy who joined us was like me. He was a warlock. Kate's a hunter. Yeah. And it was super deflating. I was like, Jesus, this is insane, and uh, I haven't gone back to it. It's like. I don't want to just join in with you guys and do that mission and have it under my belt, and she doesn't. So I was like, I think I mentioned last week having one of you guys play that part with her to help her get it done. Yeah, I thought you were going to join her on the PS4, though. That yeah. Uh, for you. Yeah, we, we, I think we did one or two games on the PS3 last week, and I may have jumped right on to Minecraft. Mm. But the, <laughs> my, yeah, but this week uh, I think I'm going to play some Destiny and, uh, and, and get myself back into the mode. And, and level up to where you guys are. You guys are what, like 28, 29? Uh, I, I'm 27. 27? Okay. Well, I think I might be able to, if I, I get I lucky, 27. 20 uh, <laughs> Say what now? 95? Did we lose 95? <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> okay. I don't know what my shit's doing. I don't know what it's doing. I just got a delay, I think, all of a sudden. It's all yeah. Good. Yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah, it's just not. It's not very often that I play a, a game that really, really, uh, the difficulty makes you feel it. And, and I understand totally what you said earlier, Briar, that going back, even doing these same missions on a higher level, is almost like a new, totally new experience. Because uh, you know, playing it on the original default setting, just regular standard, you go in there and you feel powerful over these enemies, and you're raining down hail of gunfire and everybody's falling flat and you feel powerful but when you hit a level like 26 and you're only 24 you feel terrified these fucking guys come around the corner and it's it's like the AI is really smart I've walked into enemies that I literally can't damage I can fire my the best guns I have at them and it does no damage yeah uh, and this particular um, weekly mission that, that they had up the level 26 the AI dramatically changes for, through each wave because the second wave, there's two warlocks, and they kind of hide from you. They'll stay, like, in the back, and once you get a few shots, they'll run off to the side and slide and hide somewhere. But the third wave, they come out with bandanas on, you know, <laughs> and they come straight after you, man. And so he said they got teardrop tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I saw that, I was like, wow, they, they, this has really great uh, AI design, the way that they're designed. Um, yeah, the AI is good. I that's what uh, I don't want to talk about Destiny all night. So well, well, we, just we had a slow week of news. You know, Hyrule <laughs> uh, Warriors is now. We can talk about Hyrule Warriors. You got that, Justin? I well, I would have bought it, but uh, I hate Dynasty Warriors. Like, if, if you're a Dynasty Warriors fan and a Zelda fan, it's the best of both worlds. But Dynasty yeah. World is like, tap this button forever. Fuck that. I'm good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that. I want, I want a combo. Like, it does have a combo system. It's not that drawn out. It's not that spectacular. Plus, I'm not, I'm not buying that game when Shadows of Mordor comes out on Tuesday. I'm not doing that. 
Yeah. Because yeah. one of them is going to be collecting dust, and it's more than likely going to be uh, Hyrule Warriors. I'm really excited for Shadows of Mordor. I've been hearing nothing but good from the game press about that ever since E3. And now we're starting to see reviews hit, and Do like you... people are talking about this game. I got, a, I got a question for you real quick. Do you have a feeling that this is because there's no hype around this damn game? Like, the game was kind of not hyped. Like, through the company itself, they didn't yeah. hype this game up. They didn't bring out a big fucking elaborate advertisement for the game and all this shit. And then, like, for a game like Destiny, the hype could have killed that game. Oh, the you know? hype was real, yeah. You know? I don't know. And then, you know, like, like, I'm hearing about, like, uh, people just, like, standing at the E3 booth for an hour because they're just so engrossed by the game, you know? Like... That is good news. That is real good yeah. news. Games journalists doing that. You know, and they keep talking about this nemesis system where the, the yeah. enemies remember you and, you know, like they if, they... if they kill you, the next time you come through and you, you encounter them again, they remember it. Yeah. Yeah, they talk shit. Yeah. And, like, uh, the, I heard one, one guy talking on the Joystick podcast about he shot a guy, one of the nemesis guys, in the head with an arrow and thought he killed him. And he remembers his helmet bouncing off, but it turns out I, I think you gotta like do like some kind of finishing move to actually kill the guys, uh, and he couldn't get there to do it because of like the minions, so he had to run away or chase another guy. So later in the game, he saw that same guy, and the guy didn't have his helmet anymore, and he talked about that previous encounter. And I thought, man, that is cool. Why haven't games done this forever? Like that would be really cool. You know, it'd be super cool if dude was like came out and started making your mama jokes to him. Like, hey, <laughs> I just dropped your mom That's off. Not cool. <laughs> That's not cool at all. <laughs> It'd be so funny. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I uh, personally haven't been into the Lord of the Rings saga in, in quite some years, but this game this game looks like a hell of a lot of fun. I'll probably end up picking it up myself. I don't think you need to be into the lore. Yeah, well, it, it, had, it, it adds to the lore. I know what's going on in the world of the Lord of the Rings. But you know, I just haven't been into the you know the Hobbit movies and all that stuff like a lot of fans. But this looks like a, it looks like a genuinely fun gaming experience, and that's what I'm all about. Yeah. You know, that's... it looks like it's, it's it's taking kind of like the Batman Arkham series fight style like to the next level yeah. almost. Yeah. Uh, it has elements of Assassin's Creed, the way you move and the way you jump, and like the parkour elements. It has really smart AI. Uh, on some level, you're able to control like enemies and make them go against each other. I mean, it has a lot of good stuff, so uh, I'll probably end up picking it up myself. Yeah, this is a day one for me. I can't wait for it. And oh, yeah. day, day two, I'll be back on Minecraft. I think I might do, like, a Let's Play or something for it, too, because I think it's, like, a game that would allow me, like, I was thinking about doing a Let's Play for Destiny, but, like, you're just going to watch me replay the same mission, like, eight times. Oh, yeah, over and over and over yeah, and over. Like, you remember this map. Maybe not. You remember like, this map. Let's Play for it, but... Like, when do you end that Let's Play? I'd only do a Let's Play on a new area. <laughs> like, if it was actually a legit new area, I would yeah. Let's Play that and then stop and then do that. that yeah, would I did the, the Crotosword one because I thought the Crotosword mission was so cool. Yeah, that was a sick that mission. Was great that mission was awesome. Yeah. Unfortunately, there wasn't much else like that. Yeah, I, and, and I remember right when you made that video and we were talking about it, and you were like, this got me so excited. I want to see more stuff like this. And at that point, you hadn't... You hadn't gotten so far into the game to realize that that's like the only side, you know, the only sidestep from the traditional gameplay. And I was hoping personally that that would that would permeate further into the game as well because it just felt so different. But it worked so well. I yeah, I hope they do that. more stuff like that with DLC and stuff in the future. And then the game ended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the way. Oh God. <laughs> Anybody ever talk about that yet? I didn't the even. Final boss. Yeah, I didn't even know I, I beat the game. Um, I was, I ended up back at the you know the star map, and I was like, well, there's nothing else showing up. What, where do I go? And so I went like to the tower, and Kate was like, what's going on? I said, I don't know. So I went back out, and she said, what's that at the bottom of the screen? And I went down and said, credits. And I hear Paul, <laughs> McCart hear Paul McCartney. I'm like, what the hell? I beat the game. Didn't even say congratulations or anything. When the Paul McCartney comes on the radio, it's game over. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> The indisputable truth of life. <laughs> you guys uh, getting excited for Super Smash Brothers? That's coming out soon, isn't it? Next week, isn't it? Yeah, I don't Friday. Know, man. Friday. The three D, the three DS version. I think my, both of my boys want it, so I'll probably be getting it for them. Yeah. And now I'll keep them. I thought busy you were hyped for, for this game. You played the demo and you were all over it. 
I I am. I, I'm excited about it, but for me, the real experience is going to come from the Wii U yes. with that GameCube controller. Yes, you're I, absolutely I, I have, correct. I have my Wii U on layaway. I'm sorry, guys. I had to put it on layaway. I'll have it in a week or two. <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm the real black guy on the show. I, gotta I, was, things. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking um, it. I was like, ooh, stereotype, stereotype, stereotype. I walked into McDonald's and said, you guys have a layaway program? No, um... <laughs> I would like a 20-piece, yeah, but, but I want to pay for it on Friday. Can I get just one rib? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, that was from a movie. Not, that was, I didn't just... No, you were talking about Pookie from uh, <laughs> New Jack City. Um, yeah. <laughs> see, I'm a real black man. I even know his name. Um, but I think the 3DS version is fun, but the thing for me is learning a whole new control scheme for a game that I know so well. The buttons are completely remappable. There, but it's still the the GameCube controller for me is Smash Brothers. Uh-huh. It, it may be hard to understand for somebody who doesn't play. No, uh, no, I understand. Play, playing with like the, the pro. Hmm? How long? How long did you? How long did you play on the 3DS for? Because my hand was fucking cramped up so bad, dude. I was like, I can't do this, man. It's a great I, game, but I, I need I, a controller. I gave, it, I gave it about a half an hour. A half an hour. Then I let Nova play it, and uh, my boys are playing on theirs. Um. I don't like to get too into, you know, like demos. I, I prefer to like play the entire. Yeah. I saw the game. I think it looks good. I think it sounds good. I think it moves well. Uh, but the way that the, the control was mapped out during the demo, I was like, eh, it, it just felt. It didn't feel quite as intuitive as I like. But for mm -hmm. me, the the real Smash Brothers experience is going to come from the Wii U with that GameCube controller. Hopefully, it's faster than Brawl. Hey, Brawl was like, the release and, uh, date. The, the release date's the 21st from a lot of people are saying. Like, uh, I don't know if you know, like, Amazon leaked the box art, and they leaked the actual release day of the 21st, and they also showed uh, the new... There's a new GameCube controller that this company's making, and the release date on that is also the 21st, and it said, will be out, like, in parentheses on the bottom, it said, it will be out the, the release match, bro. So I thought they're gonna announce that it's gonna be over. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, I'll be able to kick your ass. Make sure you put it on your channel, buddy. <laughs> Look at that face. He's shocked right now. Look <laughs> yes, at him. totally shocked. shocked. It's all good, ninety five. Oh, I moved it again. <laughs> <laughs> he locked up there for a second. <laughs> I, I said, I said uh, don't worry, ninety five. I'll be, I'll be no, able to. I said. I didn't hear him. <laughs> I was hey, man, I'm supposed uh, to be the one with internet problems. I was, no, I was saying that Smash Brothers has come. I said, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, don't worry, I'll kick your ass, but you've got to promise me to put it on your channel. Is, is somebody using oh, your I will. Internet? I will, for sure. I'm not all... I'm not all... <laughs> They're stealing it. They're stealing it. The neighborhood... No, uh, yeah. I'm not I'm not worried. I, I'm fine with posting ass whoopings. I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah, I've done it too. Good, good, yeah. I have gotten my ass royally kicked. Ooh. I've been so happy yeah. about it that I posted it on the internet. Have you guys been downloading everything that's uh, free with PlayStation Plus over the last few months? Just a, just a quick question. No, I can't keep up, man. Like, I, I'd have to spend all my day, every day, downloading shit, it seems well, like. Well, look, there, <laughs> there's, a game, there's a game, it's a fighting game, that I wanted to see if you guys wanted to play with me. What is it? Uh, called Skullgirls. Skull Girls. That's it's free right now? Yes, it's free. Um, and, and it's oh, awesome. Uh, and and uh, I forget her name now, but the, the woman who composed all the music for Castlevania Symphony of the Night, she actually made the music for this game. And so when I was reading up on that, I said, shit, let me download that. Game sounds awesome, plays awesome. It's Street Fighter style. So if you guys ever played Street Fighter, which of course we all have, mm -hmm. and you want to play a game that we can all play for free, and maybe make some videos on it, maybe you know spend an hour or two learning some of these characters and some of the moves, I'm all up for it. But yeah, I... My my PS3 is almost filled with uh, PSN I mean, PS3 games from uh, PlayStation Plus. I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to do. I'm going to have to upgrade to a terabyte or something because uh, all the games are giving people. It's ridiculous how many games I got. Twenty. I, I think I got like twenty or twenty-two games on my PS4 that I never paid anything for other than just having yeah. PlayStation Plus. Yeah. You know, it's I, nice. I mentioned it. I mentioned that at work last week, and uh, a buddy of mine. He said, how many games you got on a PS4? And I, I said, like, 30 games. And I only paid for, like, eight of them. So PlayStation Plus is awesome. But, yeah, Skullgirls 
Kate and I played it a little bit. It's I like it. It feels kind of like the Guilty Gear type uh, or Street Fighter type experience. So if you guys want to download that and play with me, tweet it out. It looks kind of like uh, a Blaze Blue kind of, like the art style. Yeah, it is. These characters are over the top too, you know, and they're all chips. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely set that up to download. How long, how long did it take you to download? Uh, like maybe 30 minutes maybe. Okay, so it's not that bad either. Cool. No. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty small uh, pretty small title, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. All right, guys. I got, I got some dumb questions today. No. Yeah, dumb question. So I want. Do you have any more news you want to talk about today before we get to stupid stuff? Oh, uh, Silent Hill. Silent Hills is yeah. an exclusive PS4 game, which is fucking awesome. I didn't know that. It's not yeah. to Xbox at all, huh? Nope. I wonder they announced why. that at TGS. Really? Kojima announced it supposedly. Oh, uh, and uh, on on the Silent Hills uh, topic, segue in Metal Gear Solid. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, game. yeah. No, I know what you're you about to actually, say. <laughs> you can actually use the the demonic girl from PT or Silent Hills as a decoy for Solid Snake. He has this little uh, disc. He'll throw it out, and she'll pop up and scare the shit out of people. People pull their guns out on her. You know? <laughs> they approach her, and uh, you can come around from the back and flank people and kill them. And, and it looked really awesome. And she moves and flies away the exact same way she does in, in the PT trailer. I just think that was really an uh, awesome little addition that, that that Kojima added, you know, to kind of nudge his other his other title that's going on. I think yeah. the game's gonna be awesome, but it looks really good. Did you good. guys finish PT? Yeah, I did. Uh, I I I got to a certain <laughs> point, and then there were so many videos out there that I was like, I'm gonna watch a video real quick. And I, just, like, <laughs> I did too. I watched the Let's Play. Like I'm done. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> I and, was trying uh, to watch Not Too Nerdies, but he never finished it. I was pissed. And you're allowed, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a dog in Metal Gear too as like your companion or whatever. So you're gonna, gonna get a dog end. like uh, some wolf or whatever. Gonna die at the end. I, yeah, I, I can see it. Well, how do you, when uh, Hideo Kojima first saw um, uh, Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto Five, he was actually depressed. Uh, he he made a comment and they quoted him. He was saying that um, after seeing you know the level of detail and the things you can do in the world of Grand Theft Auto Five, he felt really bad for. Uh, his Metal Gear game, and uh, I that think, was. I think that's him fucking. I think that's him fucking with their minds. Well, that's what I I'm saying. I think he's saying that just to fuck with them, because that game looks phenomenal. It, it does. runs amazing. Some of the animations when he's climbing up the like the the wall and he like shakes his hand off with the dust and then he grabs it back on. Those animations are sick, like division type animations. Yeah, uh, it, it's one of the best looking games I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, it's not out yet, so I can't really judge it yet, but. Uh, the the amount of things I've seen so far that Snake's able to do is mind boggling, and it, it's all pertinent to to the experience. So uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to play it, man. Yeah. So you got you got for the first time ever ghosts in in a Metal Gear game, and that shit looks really fucking scary, to be honest. <laughs> it really does. She, she looks the same way she does in the demo, and. Um, have you ever done like a Slenderman video or a uh, like a? Not, you did a Slenderman video, but like ever done like just you playing it with the camera facing you? Because you no, like the horror games. Face cam. I love horror games. It might be a good idea. Um, yeah. Yeah. I that might be something I do. I might go ahead and, and, and do some more Slenderman on PS3 with some. Yeah. What's some that? Free. What's that PS4 game that's Outlast? Is Outlast. It? Yeah. Yeah. That game's have popular. You, have you played that, Brian? Yeah, man, it almost gave me a heart attack. I turned off my PS4 and never played it again. And I, I literally was having like an adrenaline rush going, and I'm yes. like, this sucks. This is not why I came. I, I, <laughs> my, my 9 to 5 made the best fucking video about that I game. I turned off my fucking PlayStation in the video. I was, I was like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, you no, and the, 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 the thing that gets me the most is like when I play a game like that, I want to play it like with headphones on to get like the full immersive effect of it, and yeah. I can't fucking play the games like that. So I don't know why I put myself through that shit. It's yeah. like I'd be better off putting the game on mute and trying to play it. Yeah, yeah, I probably would be too. <laughs> yeah, like I, I just, I don't know. My body like responds to it, and I'm not happy while I'm doing it, so I don't want to do it. Well, like me, <laughs> me when it comes to games like um, Outlast or Amnesia or Slender. I, I really like to immerse uh, immerse myself in that experience, so I will turn off all the lights in here. Uh, I won't do the headphone thing because other people are, you know, watching and, and wanting to experience it with me, but I'll turn everything off. I'll have everything as dark as possible and kind of get into it, 
But for people like you guys, turn on all the lights, you know, pour Skittles all around the living room, and, uh, you know, have the kids sitting you know, with you guys singing, you know, magical songs, and, and, and play. I'm going to go watch tonight. Sound of Music instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, yeah, I, I really get into those uh, those type of Mary story Poppins. experiences. I, I'm really excited for Sound of the Hill, though. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, once once Silent you know Hill comes out, once Silent Hill comes out, I'm going to buy that game just to torture everyone that comes over to my house. So, like, everyone that comes over, I'm going to be like, hey, I want to make a video of you playing this game real quick. <laughs> and I'll film them and play the game just to scare the shit out of them. Like, I want to get my mom. My mom, I want to get so bad with the game like that. Just my, people you, screaming. That would be a good idea. Yeah. I'd watch that video. You, I totally, reacting to Silent Hill. I totally agree with you, uh, 9 to 5, about that Fox engine, man. That Fox engine is not... Oh, it looks joke. phenomenal. Jeez. Uh, my older brother, Joe, he came over here last week, and um, I was going to show him, you know, one of the newer games I got, Destiny and stuff, and then I put in... Well, I started um, PT. And, of course, the way they set it up, you have no idea. My brother's a gamer. Well, he used to be till he got married. And... Um, he um he knows Silent Hill really well, and at one point during the, the demo, he said, "God, this reminds me of like a really creepy Silent Hill." He actually said it. But yeah. uh, when, I start, when I started the demo, he thought for the first minute he was watching a cutscene. He mm-hmm. really yeah, thought it was a cutscene. That's what scene. everybody says that I show that game to. They're like, "This shit looks real." I'm like, it's... "No, I'm actually controlling this, dude." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, from the moment you land on the ground, and that big co- cockroach from the ghetto walks by. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and you stand up and you go through the door. I went through the door and, and he was listening to the music and stuff. And then uh, he said, so uh, what is the game? Let me see the game. I, I said, what do you mean? He was like, I want to see the game. I don't want to you know, go through the story. Tell me what's going on with the game. And I made the character spin all the way around. His jaw dropped. He said, I can't believe it. He said, uh, yeah, I want to have to get me a PS4 just for this, you know, this type of game, something that looks this real. I think it's awesome. Not to mention, your wife could watch it with you, and she'll fucking get scared too. You know, like say she might not want you to play video games. You play some shit like that, she's gonna watch it because it's like watching a scary movie. She she was right there with me when I first played it. She was online trying to figure out what the hell I was doing wrong. You know, <laughs> <laughs> first time I played it, it took me like shit four hours to beat it. I was like Jesus. But the the thing about PT is, um, it's ra- it's almost random the way you beat it because what works for one person won't work for another person. Yeah, it seems to be that way, doesn't it? Yeah, what you see someone do, if you try the same thing, the game says, fuck you, try again. Yeah, and, it does seem just, a little bit random. Yeah, I think that they, they really built it that way to keep you in the environment as long as possible. Yeah, not to mention, if you know the timing of it, you're going to know exactly when shit's going to jump out at you. You know, If you if you move this way or you move that way, it's going to play differently, and the, the jump scares are going to come at different times. I got a quick question about PT. I know... Y- did you guys actually, well, Briar, I know you watched the Let's Play. Mm-hmm. To me, the scariest part of that entire experience, it wasn't like, you know, in the red refrigerator or anything crazy like that. It was the moment where the chandelier or a piece of glass fell by the front door, and you go to investigate mm-hmm. what the hell fell, and you look up at the balcony, and there's, and there's a, a dude, girl. There's a dude. Sta- yeah, it's yeah, a the girl. girl. Yeah. It's a girl. She's standing there looking at you. She's creepy ass green. I mean, she, she's smiling at you. She has a grin. That's a green. She smiled at you all crazy, and after about 10 seconds, she just steps back into the darkness. I was like, this game is fucking bullshit. The first time I played it, it had me all jacked up, man. The thing that got me was the same thing that got my wife was when they said, there's something behind you. Look behind, or it says, it says, look behind you, and you look behind you, and that bitch jumps out at you. Yeah. And that got me the worst, man. Uh, it looks like Mr. Rabbit's ready to ask his insane question. You want, you want some insane questions? Yes. They're not insane. So I did a little something different this year. Instead of doing one question that everybody's going to answer, I've got a I've got five questions for each of you. Shit. Uh, and they're going to be lightning round. So I want I want <laughs> your first reaction, right? I want so, the first okay. thing that pops out. Like just say it. Okay. Okay. Uh, this, this is going to be fucking ridiculous. Who wants to go first? Let nine to five I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. This is my first time. Like I've never done this before, so it might not be that ridiculous. It's just, you know. So how do you want to do this? You're gonna ask ask a question, then he answers it, and I answer it after him. No, no, no. I'm gonna if if nine to five is going first, I'm gonna ask him five questions. Okay. And he's gonna answer them with the first thing that comes to his mind, and I'm gonna go right on to the next question. No elaboration, no follow up questions. We're just going. Okay. Maybe once he's done, 
I might have okay. some more questions. <laughs> Damn. Like, wait, one second. Back to that third question. Uh, brief follow-up to question three, line item one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's start with nine to five. All right, best system of all time. What is it? Super NES. Better developer, Infinity Ward or Dice? Oh fuck, Infinity Ward. Would you rather have BF Battlefield Five developed by Treyarch or Call of Duty Advanced Warfare developed by Dice? Mm, shit, Ooh, shit, shit. Battlefield, Battlefield made by Treyarch. Worst game you ever bought? Worst game I ever bought? Uh, Thief. <laughs> hockey or football? Uh, hockey. Hockey. The Canadian comes out. Those are good answers. That was it. That was the whole thing. I like that. That was nice. So, like, it would go, that was really good. Yeah, I like that. You would go with Infinity Ward over Dice, even though you prefer Battlefield because over Call of Duty. Because I, because Infinity Ward is some, they're they're beasts. Whether you like it or not, they are beasts at what they do. And if they made a battlefield, it would be fucking ridiculous. It would, the net code would be good, I bet. Yeah, yeah, that that too. They wouldn't have any fucking server problems, that's for sure. Yeah, and you'd rather have a uh, Battlefield Five developed by Treyarch? Yes. That would be cool. Because you, you didn't give me a choice of Infinity Ward, I would have picked Infinity Ward. <laughs> <laughs> Over Treyarch. You yes. like Infinity Ward better than Treyarch. I like I like Infinity Ward because to me they made the best Call of Duty ever made, and that's the first Modern Warfare. They but, they make a tighter game. I think Treyarch yes. might make a more fun game, like kind of more let loose kind of experience. Yeah, but, yes, yeah. I like Infinity I like the more War. like military realistic as as realistic as you can get. I like I like Modern Warfare one the most, or Call of Duty four Modern Warfare, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Well, you probably love Arma. I would love Arma if it was on a console. I want to play it with a controller really bad, and you can't really play... Arma's so simulated that you can't play it with a controller because you use, like, every button on your fucking keyboard for something. And so I'm going to pull out my binoculars. You can, you can walk around for 20 minutes and never see anybody. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's not just... That's just not okay for me. It's too <laughs> simulated. Like, it's... It's even... It, like, people complain about Battlefield. You want to play some shit that's boring, play that. Yeah, yeah. All right, Beastly, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, first reaction. Just say the first thing that comes out of, out of, to your mind. Greatest game of all time. Castlevania. Oh, Are you a PlayStation fanboy? Yes. What's more important, <laughs> gameplay or story? Gameplay. Role-playing games or fighting games? Role-playing games. Would you give me one of your children today for a copy of Last of Us 2? Shit! <laughs> you don't really have to answer that. We already know the answer. <laughs> How are you gonna make some questions tailored for me? <laughs> that that was that was super tailored. That was tailored to the point of where he tailored really knows you. He said, "Are you a PlayStation fan?" <laughs> yes. I was wondering what he would say. Oh, that's I was wondering awesome. what his answer would be. Yes. Castlevania, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you said, for best game? I didn't have That's time crazy. No, I was going to say, I was, I'll give you that. Cause there's so a you lot went with gameplay game. over story. I think you're right about that. And you went RPGs over fighting games. I was actually surprised. I thought you might go fighting games. Uh, well, fighting games depends now... Depends on the RPG and depends used... on the fighting game. You know, fighting games for me are what they used to be. I mean, we got some really awesome fighting games coming out now, but I'm not 15 anymore, and I really don't have the, the time to learn all these specific movesets for each character. That's a and good for, point, yeah. For me, it would be easier to just go and play a you know, RPG where you learn everything once, and you become good at it, rather than you got 30 characters all with different movesets, and you want to learn this, and you get take time. We're not kids anymore. I can't really do that anymore. So. Yeah, couch multiplayer doesn't happen a whole lot anymore either. I think it's... I think it's Making a, a resurgence, to be honest. Yeah. Beastly, you can't you you can't use that excuse when I handle you in Smash Brothers. I just want to put that out there. You can't say I ain't got time for this. I don't have time for this. <laughs> I, I won't have to. I'm already a Smash Brothers guy. I don't need to do this. Now, and so yeah, I'll, I, will, I will give my. Also, answer. if I get an early copy of Last of Us Two, I'll take Nova. Take Nova. <laughs> uh, you, you can have my my biggest son. He's yeah. You can have Brett. 
Can you do some yard work for me? I got plenty of that around. I'll take it. <laughs> he's, he's six foot tall. And he's thirteen. Yeah, he he go out there and pluck trees and all kinds of shit. I need gutter cleaner too because I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, he will take care of you. <laughs> the Last of Us Two. <laughs> That'd be fucking great. Rhett, get your bag, son. <laughs> get, get your bag, son. <laughs> Oh, that's All awesome. Right. I got what are your questions? I don't have to do it because, uh, you know. He made it. I made them up. <laughs> that's trickery oh, right there. <laughs> can I tell you guys the one I made for Nazi Nerdy? Yeah. All right. He can answer he it in the comments when he watches this. What's that? He watches this? No, I said he can answer it in the comments when he watches it. All right. So for Nazi Nerdy, I did favorite game ever. Uh, what is your most prized video game possession? Because he's a collector. What item would you would be your holy grail of video game collecting? What's the worst purchase you ever made in gaming? And when's the PC version of GTA Five coming out? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did there? Well, he should have been here. <laughs> yeah. I'm so you see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear Robbie's? Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm sure it's all Call of Duty or PlayStation. Uh, best <laughs> controller of all time. What is your favorite moment in video game ever? Will we be playing Destiny in September 2015? Tim Hortons or Starbucks? And maple syrup or hockey? That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> maple syrup. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's funny. So if hopefully did you, did you see a Final Fantasy, Fantasy video? No, is that PC? Final Fantasy 15? 15, yeah, it looks it looks amazing. It looks ridiculous. They're like driving in a car and they hop out and fight some ridiculous monster. Yeah. It's set in like current day, right? Yeah, what, yeah, it, in a, to an extent. I don't know. I don't know if you consider it current day. They got cars, so. Is it like a Taurus or is it like a? I don't know. It looks like some shit out of Back to the Future, so I guess. <laughs> yep. Number three. Oh, my God. Oh, that looks good. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Let's wrap this one up. I think we're all done. Uh, I'm going to go play some Destiny. No, you got to answer at least two of these questions. Now, look at our notes oh. and answer. <laughs> <laughs> what gaming company is better, Sony or Microsoft? Oh, shit. Like, no uh, time. No time. I'm going to go Sony, uh, but I, if I could have time to clarify... Okay, I won't. Okay, If you could only play one, which would you play, Titanfall 2 or Destiny 2? Destiny 2. <laughs> He's a Titan. He's a Titan. <laughs> I can only come up with two, damn it. I would go with Destiny 2 just because there, there's just so much more to it. I'm looking forward to Titanfall 2, don't get me wrong. I'm hoping that... Both of those games expand on the universes which they created, though. Yeah, I don't they think need there's going to be a Destiny 2. They need to build on what they have. If they build on what they have, they'll do great. Yeah, I, I agree do not think that they're going to have a Destiny 2. I just, for some reason, that I'm not seeing it. I think that their, Bungie's plan is to expand on the universe they've already created. I think that um, they're going to have updates and DLC and patches, and in the coming years, Destiny's going to become this, what everybody kind of Thought it would be like this Mass Effect open world multiplayer type of experience. It's alive and breathing. Mm -hmm. I think well, one that, thing you know, I think that with all the, the customers who have bought Destiny, uh, to experience that universe to to create a Destiny two is going to alienate the people who are in the universe of Destiny one, and I think that's going to kind of fly in the face of what they're trying to create. I think they're trying to create this universe where you can get on, you can find your friends. And if they segregate the gamers by creating a Destiny 2, I think that's going to be more of a hindrance than a help. I think they're going to maybe create a Destiny type patch that will or, or update that will create Destiny 2 on the Destiny 1 game that already exists. I think we'll see Destiny 2, like a full retail release of Destiny 2 in 2017. I think One, they're going to want to they're going to they're not going to leave that money on the table. They want, you know, a full $60 product out there. And they're gonna wanna just. I I, I don't know, bro. I, I mean, look at the DLC they're doing. They're selling now. You know, for every two DLCs that they release, they're getting, you know, sixty dollars right there. Mm -hmm. So if they continue to make DLC, what's the purpose of creating a whole new game for sixty dollars and segregating the, the gamers rather than? Because every DLC is 
Hotel sells worse than the DLC before it, and eventually Destiny will hit a point where it's not worth it for them to cre- keep creating DLC for a game that nobody's playing anymore. Well, I think at time, some point I it'll think, get there. I think time uh, will be the, the the deciding factor there because some games like World of Warcraft have DLC to come out and do really well. I guess over the next few years, if the DLC that they, they that they release really adds to the experience and, and really revitalizes the world and makes the game more in tune with what the consumer's vision was as well as what their vision was, then DLC will be more prevalent and probably do really well in Destiny. Now, if they create DLC that you play for six hours, ten hours, and you're right back to where you were with no other reason to jump back in, yeah, the DLC will gradually decline. But if they're able to make DLC that really breathes new life in, into Destiny, I think that that's a good possibility. Yeah, we'll have to see. One, one thing that a lot of people didn't notice either is you notice when you have that queen mission, it says one of ten. So there will be ten more people around the map like that that you'll be able to do missions for. Wow. Because because okay. like the the queen mission, I thought I thought it would only allow me to do ten of the queen mission, but the number never changes. It's just one of ten, and that's how it stays. So there is going to be ten more people that have missions. Granted, it is going to be on the same map we're playing on right now, more likely. Which kind of? I think it happened again. Hey, uh, I also got a request for Bungie. Like, make that Zura guy show up in the same spot. I looked for that fucker for like ten minutes yesterday. I couldn't find him <laughs> anywhere. I knew he was around somewhere, but I couldn't find him. He's hiding like way in the corner. Dude's all dressed in black, like a goddamn ninja hiding in the corner. He's a goddamn bush wookie. He, he's oh, saying a brother, a brother can't run to the restroom and come back. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> like, where are you going to hide? What gaming company? So you asked me what gaming company is better, Sony or Microsoft. That was hard because if you asked me what – if you had worded that any w- differently, I probably would have said Microsoft because the only thing that Sony does better than Microsoft is gaming. I think that's what matters the most. Yeah. Well, to us, yeah. All right, guys, let's wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. Anybody want to talk about what they got coming up next week? Um, I, I think I want to make some uh, some of The Last of Us maps in Minecraft, so you guys look for that on my channel. I'll be looking forward to that. That'd be fun. Side-by-side side comparisons. Gonna, I'm going to be getting... Uh, well, Tuesday I'm be getting Forza and uh, Shadows of Mordor, of course. And then I'm going to make, like, kind of how I did my FIFA video where I unboxed it and then I played some of it. I'm going to do that from now on whenever I do an unboxing of any game. That's so fun. it gives me more than just, like, here's a box with nothing in it, you know, so... I like that. That's a good idea. All right, guys. Let's wrap it up. We'll see you next week. See you, guys. See ya.